And more than one month since the campfire, we are continuing to hear new stories of survival and of generosity by strangers. One of those stories that hasn't been told is of this guy right here. And as James, who is developmentally disabled, will tell you, he is a real life superhero. He saved his friend from the campfire and now an entire community in Roseville is coming together to help save him. Take a listen. I'm a superhero. This is James. For years, he's been a bit of a celebrity in paradise, known for hanging around the local grocery outlet, dressing up as Superman during fundraising events for kids. I save the world, I do the dishes, I do the laundry, and I save the world in my spare time and only after breakfast. But on the day of the campfire, yes, shortly after breakfast, James's superhero title took on a very real meaning. The day of the fire, the, sh the short version is that the porch was on fire and I said the porch is on fire to Grandpa. Grandpa is what he calls his best friend and roommate for roughly 40 years, Jimmy. Jimmy is 86, and when the fire approached their mobile home, it was up to James to figure out how to get the two of them out. I uh, said for him to get uh, his breathing mask on because he was having trouble breathing, and then um, I asked him to go into a garbage can for him to be rolled in the garbage can. James tried rolling Grandpa in that garbage bin, but he couldn't go far, and flames were now surrounding them on both sides of the road. Having the whole street as a total inferno, and it was so dark that I couldn't see my hands, so I had the flashlight. That gave him an idea. Using that flashlight, he flashed the SOS signal. Miraculously, a fire crew was a few blocks away, saw it, and came to the rescue. The, the fire crew took us to to Butte College, but it was just amazing that I, I says to Grandpa, uh, to save his life was the most important thing for me to do. From there, the VA temporarily booked Grandpa, who is a veteran, into a motel in Roseville. James, who is developmentally disabled and always sticks with Grandpa, went with him. But back in paradise, his friends started worrying. James ended up on the missing persons list and posts like these popped up on Facebook asking if anyone had seen him. A lot of people were worried about him and they thought he perished in the fire. That's where Valerie, an employee at the Roseville grocery outlet, comes in. James came in really early. We just started talking. He touched my heart in just those few minutes. That night, Valerie looked James up on Facebook. She saw that people were asking about him. So I wrote on there, no, no, you know, he's alive. I just came in contact with him today. You know, I didn't really know where to start, but I just wanted to help him. And that's where the entire community comes in. Valerie alerted her boss, who alerted his friend Jamie, who posted James's story on the Adopt a Family Facebook group, which was then seen by Teresa. I said, hey, you know, I'm in Roseville. What do you need for help? And so we all got together, a group of us, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of sat down and met James. And as you've seen, he's just got an amazing spirit. So that's when, you know, we all realized that if we didn't help these, these two gentlemen, that they, they were probably going to be in trouble. After hours of research and phone calls to FEMA, these generous strangers have helped James and Grandpa, who lost everything in the fire, get back on their feet and find a new home in Grass Valley. It was just amazing. To, and to lose a town is just... Well, that was the hardest, to lose family. But I have many blessings in my life, so that's it. And you have a new family. I have a new family over there. <laughs> and you have a cheery disposition. Cheery disposition, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's that cheery disposition that he now hopes to carry on to his new home, where, of all things, a grocery outlet will be right across the street. She found a community where he can walk that's, that's very much like paradise. And, and if you ask James what he needs now, he'll tell you he's only missing one thing. I lost my superhero suit. So if you have a, I'm large, and I like the bright and a big yellow belt with a and a big stainless steel belt buckle of a big ass. And it's like, wow. That's because he is, after all, a superhero. So I'm a superhero, save grandpa. <laughs> oh. What an amazing story, I know. right? She's Many so folks